point A, point B, point C, point D, point E, point F, point G, point H, point I. So you try to join them. So, do your demarcations. Uh -huh. Then let's go here. You can do it in other ways, but try to be smart and be on the safer side. Hmm. So, this one too, have to have to go here. Alright. So, that is the divisions. I mean, the other one, two, three, four. So you start ah, so from here to here a setting here and here I've been doing these things for so many times you come to the middle here is settle you go here you extend this to this place you know that here to a setting so you come here then you extend here. Here can go. Then you extend here. You can see that here too can go, all right? Yeah. Then you extend here. Here will be going. Then you extend to the last one, where this side will be taking its demarcation and this side will be taken. At the end of the day, you are going to get Region A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I with their respective areas as well as we before. Then we try to do our conventions when asking the question, then we get our info. Which we have A, we have B, we have C, we have D, we have E. Then we have F. We have G. We have H. We have I. Then we have the last region, which is G. So we will connect the points together with dotted lines oh boy it's a so then my circle which is not drawn to scale so yes, you try to connect them mind you they shouldn't cross each other that is why you can do it in other way, but I'm using the smartest way so that you won't confuse yourself. So I prefer doing it diagonally. Mm -hmm. Then this goes here. Then this two goes here. Then I am done. So I'll be doing this side by sector. Mm -hmm. This side by sector. Mm -hmm. It's not going to skip. I'll extend it here. Here is certain it will go. Here is not certain, so it will be to a bisector here. Then I'll come here. Here is certain. Here is not certain. It will come here. Then this will go. Then here it will come here. Then this will go. Then this one will go into this. Here will go. This one will come here. Here will go. Then the last. 
we have all the regions together. All right, so let me do the demarcations mm, region A, region B, region C. Region D, Region E, Region F, Region J, Region H, Region I, Region J. The regions. So we have region A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, and J. So when it comes to the calculation, you will be given the precipitation P average, precipitation average to be maybe you are giving the precipitation here at A, precipitation at B, precipitation at C. Sorry, precipitation at D, precipitation at E, F, F, P, G, P, H, I, then precipitation at G, to area, the area here. Area of A will also be given as area at A. Then here the area will be maybe area at B. Then here the area will be area at C. Area at D. Area at E. Area at F. This entire region, the area comprises of the region area area at region G. Let me say it that way: area at region H, area at region I, and area at region G. All right, they will all be given. Remember, the precipitation can be given in. Either precipitation can be given in either precipitation can be given in either millimeters, centimeters, or inches. Then the area in the question can be given. Area can be given in kilometers squared, comma. Uh, centimeter squared comma meter squared according to the question each of them when they are given you are to do the necessary con conversions according to how the question is asking you or how it's supposed to be answered according to the question so for your conversions between the area as well as the precipitation you can learn that on your own, but few has been placed in previous work so that we can learn from there. When the question asks us to convert from this form to the other, we won't find ourselves wanting. So the general formula here is going to be precipitation average is going to be the precipitation given at region A. Then the precipitation times the area at region A plus precipitation at region B times the area of region B plus the precipitation at C times the area at C plus precipitation at D times the area at D plus precipitation at E times the area at E plus precipitation at F times the area at F plus precipitation at G times the area at G plus the precipitation at each times the area at each 
class, the precipitation at I times the area at I plus precipitation at G times the area at G all divided by area at A plus area at B plus area at C plus area at D plus area at region E plus area at region G A F plus area at region G plus area at region H plus area at region I plus area at region G then we get our average precipitation so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 so we have to be smart in dealing with some of these things when the calculations are given we should know how to go about it so these are how the ladies are demarcated or drawn on the graph sheets so in the next video i'll be dealing with how to measure from the graph thank you